everyone, it's Derek J. Today is Tuesday, June 23rd, 2014. I'm going to be doing Peace News Now live tonight at the top of LRN.FM Media Room here at Rogers Campground in Lancaster, New Hampshire. And I'm walking around at an event called Pork Fest. This is what you might see. Hemp pretzels and people walking around with huge guns. People have set up camps here and some of the people are selling things to one another. There are people cooking, there are people giving massages, tattoos, shirts, and even 3D printed materials. There are 3D printers here. But this is one of the things that fascinates me the most. No one's concerned about these guys. And they don't have to be, of course not. They're not a danger to anyone. Uh, so, I think it's great. Uh, there's a lot of etiquette regarding guns around here. For example, I don't see people needlessly unholstering their weapons. They wear them, and that's it. They keep them on their hip or concealed. Now I'm seeing a lot of people who are open carrying, wearing them openly, but who knows how many are also carrying concealed. Here's an example of one of the vendors, Liberty Apparel. Hi Liberty Apparel. We have someone who appears to be preparing food in preparation for Cold vending. Chili. Some chili? What are you making here? Well, the first batch on the start there is a pure Texas beef chili. Beans go, in a se beans go with it. They go in a separate pot, however. It's all meat. The second batch I'm preparing will be a New Mexico-style pork chili verde. And then the third is my signature chili, the only one that still has legumes in it, which is lamb and lentil, which I call either kosher chili or Palestinian chili, depending on whom I want to offend, because lamb and lentils are standard foods at that end of the Mediterranean. And, uh, you know, I'll be doing various other little things, you know, pot of beans, uh, rice. I may cook some spaghetti for people from Ohio, because people in Ohio seem to like chili over spaghetti. I don't know why, but hey, you know, I'll serve anybody. Uh, this year there is no vegan option, because last year the vegans promised me lots and lots of business, and I threw th two thirds of it away. This is not profitable. So the vegans are too low on the food chain to consider this year. <laughs> well, I look forward to visiting. I've heard wonderful things about the lamb and lentil, so I'll be here. Thank you. It will be here. First Texas chili is probably in about three hours. Well, just a sample of what you might see here at Porkfest.